way to go! Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing Windjammers. Windjammers is a fast-paced frisbee game that was developed by Data East for the Neo Geo in 1994. I remember when I was a kid running into this game in the arcade. I put in my quarter, my last quarter mind you, and before I even knew what was going on, game over. I remember looking at the screen trying to analyze what went wrong. I mean, it seems simple enough. I was like, what happened? I left the game never going near it again. Many, many years later, I gave the game another try, only to relive my childhood trauma again. The exact same thing happened, but this time was different. This time I had an unlimited try, so I tried a couple of more times and was pretty successful getting a grasp on the game. The controls does take some time to get used to, and it's pretty fast paced, so it can catch you off guard a bit. I actually slowly started to enjoy the game and found it hard to put down. The game is similar to air hockey, and the rules is as follows. You pick one of the six players, each representing different countries with his or own attributes and unique special throw. You have to manage to get the frisbee past your opponents to score. Depending on the stage, the goal area is broken up to three or five point zones. A match consists of three sets that last 30 seconds. A set is won by the player who has the most points at the end of the clock, or if a player reaches 12 points. A match is won when the player wins two sets. If the game is tied, the game enters sudden death when the first player to score wins. Windjammers did not disappear into the halls of obscurity like a number of arcade titles do after their tenure. A port of the game with online multiplayer support was released by Daimu for the PS4 and the Vita. Oddly enough, Windjammers actually garnered a cult following with tournaments, events, and prizes. So give the game a whirl and let me know what you think.